Hi guys, for the first time in almost two years of doing this show, this video is sponsored. We're really excited to have accepted this sponsorship because we've had lots of offers, but this is the first one that felt really yeah. aligned and that we were kind of excited to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. As a music venue and event partner, beautiful KZ Shanghai has held lots of major events. Just over this past year, they've hosted V Magazine, GQ Night, F1 After Party, Balenciaga After Party, featuring stars like Sophie Marceau, Martin Garrix, Daniel Wu, and Li Yuchuan. Just this past August, KZ had a special show with Lisa Ono. Keezy will continue to invite more guests from home and abroad with special programs and surprises every month. You never know who you'll see at Keezy. Stay tuned. So thank you to Keezy Shanghai. But I just want you to know that the reviews, the reactions that we're about to do, same as always. That's the deal with any sponsor that we accept. They have to be cool with us doing our thing, yeah. doing whatever we do, so that you guys get to have the same experience. So here we go. Yep, no script, honest reactions only. Suki, I've always thought that was a rad name. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Look at the vibe. You've heard this song before. I recognize <laughs> this. Who is this? It was that Jackie Chan song that I really liked, <laughs> and then the Japanese. The Japanese original singer was the elder with like the all white hair. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We've heard this a few times. Oh yeah, we did a comparison. So, is this people sitting, like seated at tables? Oh, I think there are like different sections. There are booths, tables, VIP rooms. From what they told me, they have about 700 seats in this live house. This is, have you seen many shows in this kind of... <laughs> place uh, I have in the States and it is quite a unique experience. You've performed in live houses. Like, yeah, but times, right? maybe, but this is pretty bougie. Yeah? <laughs> I think so. Like this looks pretty. Let's, let's watch. Okay. No Oh, she's singing the Cantonese version. Okay. Of the song. Interesting vibrato. Wow. So for do you know Yeah? Do do we know her? We don't know her. Suki? Um these singers are all signed to Kizi. They're signed to the venue? Like they're full-time performers there. They perform like sometimes five times a week. Really? Kizi, okay, according to them, they have like four different locations in China. And they sign artists? Yes. The venue itself yes. signs artists? Yes, yes, yes. It's a full-time gig. You mean, you mean you're signed as an artist or you're signed to play in their Performer. venues? Perform. In their venues or... Where well, if they perform five times a week, that's like a full I guess, I job. guess. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I want to talk about her vibrato with you. Yeah. So for me, I'm going to, I'm going to see how this unfolds, but this is an interesting vibrato because it is somewhere in between the kind of R&B type wavy vibrato that's kind of like Josiah that we talked about. Oh, yeah. Kind of like a slower, deeper vibrato that appears in even Western R&B music. Yeah. And the deeper vibrato that I've heard in Chinese artists. Mm -hmm. It's somewhere in between right now. D wh where is she? Is she a Chinese artist? She's from Shanghai. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I'm going to keep listening and see where her vibrato goes. So far, this is... Oh, it says quite... she's from Guangdong. But she's right now working in Shanghai. Yeah. Okay, okay.
sometimes forget, I, I assume she's, she's obviously lovely, but I assume she's not a household name type of famous. No, I don't think so. No. I think that people forget how much deep talent exists out there that isn't household name. Oh yeah. We all, it doesn't matter what country you're from. Yeah. We all think that we almost get it in our head that the most talented people are the most famous people. Mm -hmm. Now there are many very talented, famous people. But you also have many beautiful artists yeah. who are just not as household namey. Yeah. She's very lovely. She is good. Oh, do you like it as much as uh, Jackie Chung? Oh, uh, well. Come on! Right? I know, I'm just razzing ya. <laughs> Live? Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Sorry, last question. This was recorded live in the venue? Yes. This is all happening in the bar. Well, this is recorded very, very nice. Beautifully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to record a show here. <laughs> no, if you've ever tried to record a live show, it is hard getting separate lines for everything and getting a nice quality. Recording out of well, a room. Well, it is a very expensive stage. They spent like six million dollars building it. <laughs> <laughs> they like they got like people from the U.S. designers from the U.S. to build them this acoustic space. And <laughs> Meyer Sound. Oh, nice, nice. Directly from the U.S. Yeah, it better be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the cry. It's a great signature of the song. Of the Every song? cover has it. Every cover did. But you know what, Jay? You might roll your eyes because I make statements all the time, but this is a really, like, of female singers, I quite like her. Mm. Like, this is a really rich tone. Yeah. And Seriously. She has a jazz R&B funk influence. That does yeah. not surprise me. Yeah. That does not surprise me. I'm glad our first sponsored post sent a beautiful <laughs> singer. <laughs> like Jam's version actually. I did? You did like Jam's Cantonese version, yeah. I perhaps did, mm -hmm. but to I like the tone of this woman's okay. voice. Do you not think it's like rich and kind of darker and a little like yeah. velvety fatter? It's thick, it's, it's Really rich. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a very popular song then. Oh yeah. It's this like a staple. Is... What, what is the topic of this? The song? Yeah, like is it sad? Oh yeah. Uh, it's about a breakup. Sad breakup. Yeah, that feels lamenting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's all... Oh. Like sad breakup in the autumn. It feels like the autumn. Yeah. yeah. Interesting, why is that? Because of the similarity to autumn, autumn leaves? leaves? Autumn feels somber. Yeah. Like the autumn does. Yes, maybe, maybe there's something in there, but I just also think that autumn feels like violins and sad and it's cold and leaves are falling and everything's shitty and breakups are breaking up and everything's just like autumn. Some melodies just sound autumn. Kind of. Like, I mean, but it's a very melancholy time yeah, to me. I mean, yeah. I don't know what the weather's like in China in autumn, but here it's like 
just sad yeah. and everything is like the green is going away and the leaves no, are falling. Even the chorus part and da 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 da. da yeah, da, da, da. that maybe is it riffing on it? I think it's. Very it must be similar. riffing, like yeah. referring to it. Well, although the Japanese version had nothing to do with autumn, the Japanese version was called Ikanaite, means you please don't go. Well, yeah, well. I mean, the everything original, yeah. everything melancholy isn't autumn, but most autumn things are melancholy. That's true. <laughs> Oh my god, for fun, sorry. Can you do the cry? Oh. More cry. It's so fun, right? It's so fun. So if you go, so you book tickets here to go see a show or to go have a drink or to both or like... I asked them, um, sometimes they would host shows and events, but most of the time they don't sell tickets. You have to book like a week ahead, otherwise you don't get in. But that's cool that you don't have to book like six months ahead and you can still see a live show. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Her t I like her text. Even the whole mix, the band, all the instruments are, are well mixed. Oh, it's wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wild. Do they have a piano? I'm sure they do. Like a like a, an acoustic piano? I'm sure they do. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Be beautiful. This was effing lovely. Yeah. Great work. Okay, this is so off topic, kind of. Is there food? Oh, um, yeah. Is, do you know for oh, a fact? Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can be eating. I saw some of the pictures and oh, they look tasty. So do you think you could be watching that and like having a steak? Yes. <laughs> I think they serve Sichuan food, like spicy. What did you say? Sichuan, si like Chuan Wei. That means like, because this this place in, in, in China, their authentic food is usually spicy, like really, really spicy, hot. I Lots like spice. spicy. I love spicy food. I saw some of the pictures and the videos they sent. It was like, it looked really good. Like the food. Oh. Like, that's really spicy, right? Look hey, at that. Is that cilantro? Yeah, yeah. or parsley or cilantro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks so good. Yeah, it's like, all red. <laughs> Yo, yum, spicy. my mouth is watering now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess we're looking at the next singer. Renji, Renji. Renji. Renji, Renji. It's a girl? Yep. Uh, let's do it. Oh no, really? I'm gonna be pickier. Okay. I can't help it. Yeah, you when know the song. song. <laughs> oh. I, would only... I already don't like that she skipped the famous thing in the beginning. Oh, okay. <sighs> Demonstrate it. Well, this one is if I. Oh yeah, yeah. Lots more details. Your way. So I go good, good tone though. Nice pointy tone. I think of you every step of nice. 
It's okay. Exact. Every artist is a It's not about thing. it being exact. Okay. It's not about it being exact. It's about the riffs being complete. Okay. Is how I would say it. If you listen to how she descends, listen, her tone is nice. Mm. I'm just going to use this as a little bit of a moment. As you listen, listen to how she descends out of that. It's not about being the same as Whitney. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, every time I post a Whitney video, people feel the need to let me know that I'm not Whitney, which, <laughs> girl, I know. <laughs> She said, "Ay, that oh, is a missing, missing center note. note. Yeah. Ay, one, two, three. Okay. Instead, she said, one, three, three. <laughs> I see, I see. That's all I'm saying. It's my job to listen for this shit. <laughs> Vowel is very interesting. <laughs> so in English, you or you, she uh, says, you she got some tongue in there. You. Lovely. My really nice tone. Uh -huh. Actually, a tone I hear more often. Both of these artists yeah. is a tone I hear more often yes, here. Yes. A little bit more pointy. Sweet nice delay on the vocals. Some of the best gals. <laughs> From China? Well, they're pretty lovely. 
Seriously. Really, really, really. One more? No, but so still beautiful. Good, good, so good. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think also once you're famous, your fans have gotten to know you for whatever your thing is. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe maybe these gals have more freedom. I, I don't know what to tell you. I just, these tones are beautiful. Yeah. Well, I think they are still considered as indie artists mostly. Right? Would you say? Because, yeah, because they're not usually on TV, right? But they're performing lots. Yeah. Like every single day. So they, they gain a ton of... Uh, well, these are solid ass vocalists. Yeah. Solid. Actually, as far as a Whitney Houston song goes, she did really well. Yeah, I, really, really well. Yeah, I think so too. Next one, we have a male artist. I think he's Mongolian. Cool. Uh, what's his name? Oh. It's in Chinese. I can't. Bai Chao Luo Meng. I'll say it. Okay, give it to me. Bai Chao. Do I have to say Bai? <laughs> no, not really. Bai. Okay. Bai Chao. Bai Chao. Bai Chao Luo Meng. Bai Chao Luo. Luo Meng. Luo Meng. Yeah. Bai, ch bai Chao Luo, Luo Meng. Yep. Shit. Yep. Ooh. Oh, you heard this song before too. You heard Sitar. Ah! Version. On Singer 24? No. A different, older a different... singer. Older singer, so. Look at those live drummy drums. Oh. So like this tone already. Not what I expected him to look like. Life house, this setup is like beautiful, crazy. sound beautiful in here. Wow, yeah. I like the arrangement. You said I've heard this song before, but it's reminding me of a famous jazz song. Here. Well, this rendition is really different. It's not okay. anything you can hear. Damn. Oh, I love that percussion. I love his tone, dude. Oh yeah, and his All home. three of these yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is some great stuff to see coming out of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. seriously. Yeah. Actually, just thinking back, all three of these performances are pretty stinking live. Yeah. These are really clean performances. And I feel like this gentleman is a great example of the best isn't always the fanciest. Mm. This is a beautiful interpretation. There's, there's not a riffs and runs and craziness, but the tone is beautiful. The interpretation is beautiful. It's supported. There's no push-pull. This is gorgeous. Mm. They get back vocalists here. Yeah, it's like a whole. Hire me. I'm coming. Set up. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's very sting. Yeah. That's very yes. sting. How did he do it? I don't know that little. Hook at the bottom. Really not 
not edit it, do you think? I don't know. It sounds so good, though. It's epic. Oh, clean it sounds it really good. Well, I did hear it pitch deviation. It's not like 100%. No, I mean, if it was to be edited, it would be great editing. Yes. But but I just don't even know. It's like these singers are hella clean. They are if, clean. If, yeah. Well, that's what you just said though. Hearing pitch deviation shouldn't be the indicator if there's editing or not. You should always hear pitch deviation. Yes. I, you know, I don't know if I've ever said that sentence that clearly. But because of all the bad editing. That's what I'm that saying. We see. Absolutely, absolutely. I know what you're saying. Out. But I'm just saying. Even if we still hear some humanness, that shouldn't be an indicator mm -hmm. that it has not received a little TLC. Mm -hmm. Editors should leave some humanness. Yes. So it obviously is live, yeah. but I don't know how, how much zhuzh, but these yeah. singers sound great and these singers provided a fantastic mm -hmm. foundation mm -hmm. for these productions. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if there is no editing, all three of them should be tipping their hat like, ha <laughs> ha, yeah. clean. This is the grit. I always tried to, when I was younger and maybe even older, I always try and make my sister play hand drums <laughs> for okay. me. Like a cajon? Like cajon or <laughs> djembe, like I just like the sound of them. Okay. Oh my god, he is that Mongolian, that grit? That's, yeah. Is that the style of Mongolian? Because it a reminds me of my bald singers. guy. A lot of them. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> might be my favorite version of the song. I mean... Kizi, send us some more shit. If this is the standard Freaking Chinese lighthouse, this beautiful. is... Beautiful! Like, this is so high. I mean... This, is high. this was fun AF. Yeah. Singers I've never seen, and all three of them were massively impressive. Yeah, and they're not household names, hey? They're not like they're not even on TV much, but I, I know this is hard for people to understand, but I like doing lesser known. <laughs> I do because there's I get to discover them almost along with people. Yeah. And this is the kind of venue that I would like to play and make it feel like what I would call a house concert. Yeah. Where you could be just cozy. Yeah. And you can make it feel like a, well, a big, a big house. <laughs> but this is the feel where people are with friends and sharing this big, beautiful moment. And you can, between the show, you can have good food and 
enjoy a company, but also enjoy great art. Yeah. This this is somewhere I would love to. We should go attend. check it out. Yeah, if well, we ever go to Shanghai, I, I want to be on the stage mm. more than I want to be in the audience. But I'll come eat your spicy food too. So here's Bad Girl. Don't talk out of turn, girl, you'll never learn. You get close to the flames like you love the burn. Don't be the fuel, try to keep it cool. Don't break the ice and don't break the rules. But if you do what you've done, you get what you got. Can be.